Hi, Girl Scouts. I'm Andrea Peterson. Uh, from I'm the program specialist from Girl Scouts Minnesota and Wisconsin Lakes and Pines. Today we're going to be going over the Daisy Outdoor Art Maker Badge. So we'll just wait till some people get on and we can start going. Get going. So I see there's one person on today. So if you want to write maybe where you're from and then one thing you like to do outside and we can kind of see some comments. There's three. Again, I'm Andrea Peterson. I'm the program specialist. So um, we have about eight view people viewing right now. So if you want to kind of comment where you're from and then something you like to do outside, and then we can kind of see what different things you guys like to do outside so people can kind of get some ideas of what to do. Let's see, we got one from, ooh, New Jersey, it looks like. So troop, let's see, 223, what would you like to, what do you like to do outside? We got one from Texas, we got some from Duluth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Melissa from Duluth likes to go canoeing, which is awesome because in our council we have a great canoe base where you can go canoeing in the Boundary Waters, which is an amazing place. I went there when I was in high school. We have a, we have someone tuning in from California, which some of us Girl Scouts, the older Girl Scouts, we took a trip there last year with our council. So we'll wait about one more minute or so. We have about 25 people watching, so that's awesome. I love to see tons of people tune in. If we can get more comments on where you're from and then things you like to do outside, that'd be awesome. Let's see, we have one from Nashville and they like to play, ooh, this one likes to play with their sister outside. Um, I have a sister and we always went outside when we were younger and jumped on our trampoline or played on our play set. We like to ride bikes one there one from st cloud let's see we have one from malacca Ooh, have a fire yeah it's almost time for fire season so that's awesome we got one from morris um let's see another one from california Ooh, play outside on her scooter which that's always fun all right, so we're up to 27 people watching, which is awesome. So we're gonna get started now. Um, again, I'm Andrea Peterson. I'm the program specialist here uh, at Minnesota, Wisconsin Lakes and Pines Council. So we're gonna be going through the Daisy Outdoor uh, Art Maker Badge. And so we will be doing all the levels of the Outdoor ma Art Maker Badge. Just this week, we're just doing the daisies. So we can start now and we'll kind of go on. And if you have any questions, definitely leave comments in the comments and I'll try to answer them if I can, or we'll get back to them at the end, okay? So the first thing with this Art Maker Badge is we wanna make sure that you're looking at art, you wanna look at the outside as art, because there's so many beautiful mm -hmm. things outside that we wanna make sure you're kind of noticing it because sometimes in our daily lives, you sometimes just go through life and not realize how beautiful nature really is. So there are three steps to earning this badge. The first step is to see the colors of nature. The second step is hear the sounds of nature. And then the third step is share your art door, your outdoor art. So we're going to start with the first step. So in the first step, there are actually two different activities you can choose from to do. So I have done in each of the steps, I have done one activity. And then um, we have uploaded the uh, requirements onto this event where you can download it and see all the requirements if you don't like the one that I chose, but I'll be explaining both of them. So the first the one I did not choose to do was have a color race. That was one of the activities in the first session or in the first activity, like set a step. So this one is a really fun one. You can dress up in a ton of different fun, bright colors and then take about a 10 minute walk and see if you can match what colors you're wearing. So if I'm wearing a, right now I'm wearing a green shirt so I could look outside and say, oh, the grass is green or maybe some trees have leaves on it and that are the same color as my shirt. So you want to make just take a fun walk around and see all the different colors that nature has and try to spot all of them. Now, if you can't go outside right now because maybe you don't have an adult home, that's okay. You can look outside your window and see what colors you can match your outfit with. Or if you have access to internet, you can look on the internet and say, oh, if I'm wearing a green shirt, look up things in nature that are the color green. And you can try to match things online as well. So there's always ways to do it if you're not able to get outside right now, but it's always fun to take a look around. 
So the activity that I will be showing today is called Make a Colorful Painting Outdoors. So I don't have paint at home, but I have markers. So you can use whatever you want that has color. So if you have crayons, coloring pencils, markers, or if you do have paint, you're more than welcome to use paint. So for this one, you're gonna kind of take a walk outside and look for an awesome scenic picture with tons of color. So for me, my favorite time is fall. And so right now when it's kind of springtime in Minnesota, it's kind of still snowy out. So it's kind of hard to find a ton of color. So I looked for fall and I'm originally from Duluth. So my picture is from kind of the Duluth area um, near where I grew up. So I have the fall trees with the different color trees that are um, gonna be falling at this point. We have a nice little cabin with overlooking mm -hmm. a lake or a pond depending on what it is and then we have ducks flying as well so this is just an easy way to draw and have the girls really look at the scenery that they're around and look and try to find different um scenic things they can draw so another good one would be like a flower patch if you live by a place that has a lot of flowers maybe draw some flowers or whatever you think is beautiful or your the girl thinks is beautiful have them draw that and nothing's ever wrong and now if again if you can't go outside that's all right you can look out your window or google a beautiful place that you like to go to a lot and find a picture of a place you like to go a lot and then you can color that as well whatever way works for you is is all right for you i was lucky enough to be able to go outside so that is the first step um that's the step one those are the two activities you only have to do one so just pick whichever one the girl thinks is the most fun for them so then step two, which is hear the sounds of nature. This one is really fun because the two activities that you have are really different. So I'm gonna start with the one that I have um, made and done myself. So the first one is you can make a maraca and make a dance. So I made a maraca here. It's simply out of a water bottle and some rice. You can make it out of maybe some dried beans or if you have beads for a necklace or maybe some rocks or anything you have at home that you can find that'll just make that nice little, you know, maraca sound. That's how I did it. So with this one, you will make, you go outside and start shaking your maraca like you would if you're trying to hear rainfall or maybe different nature sounds. And then you wanna make a dance that kind of correlates with nature. So if you are just shaking kind of like rain, maybe you're going to kind of sway like maybe a tree would when it's a rainstorm. So you're just gonna make a fun dance up and then perform in front of your family or friends or maybe post a video online. Now with the second one, um, with this one, it's not gonna be, you're not gonna make anything. You can look up or explore to find nature sounds. So you could go for a walk and try to listen for different birds or maybe if there's frogs around or dogs or whatever noise you hear in your area. It might be different for me in Minnesota because I see there's some California or Texas. So you might hear different noises than we hear here. So that's when you will write them down and then you want to hear all the different things you can hear. And also if when you download this uh, requirements, there are some on the back of this on, um, there is some here that kind of explain like different animals you might hear and you want to pay more attention to like birds or traffic. Those ones are pretty common anywhere. So if you hear those, write them down. And if you can't go outside, then look up nature sounds. So you might think, what do I hear? What do I see a lot in my hometown? Maybe some birds or you might hear dogs or cats. So you just can look up different nature sounds that um, are kind of normal to you for hearing. So the last activity that the last step to this journey is, um, it is sharing your art, your outdoor art. So there's two different ways that you can show your art your outdoor art so obviously we're stuck inside right now but we out we challenge you to call or facetime or send pictures to family members so they can see what you're learning about art and about how you want to be you know better with nature with it so the first one um that i decided that i was going to do out of the two activities is leave no trace picture so this one you will draw or color or paint or whatever way is easiest for you, a picture of you leaving no trace. So whether that's you, um, whether you are, you know, picking up trash that doesn't belong in a certain spot or you're leaving the place better than you found. So maybe if you see garbage from another person or you, you know, you don't feed animals, so you maybe are 
you're being respectful to the nature that's around you already so you're not breaking off tree branches or breaking things in nature because you know we don't want to as girl scouts so on these requirements there's a list of about 10 different ideas or if you have your own ideas you're more than welcome to do your own so this is the picture i drew so for me every summer i go um, camping at bemidji state park here in minnesota and so i always make sure that we bring garbage bags along and i always when i'm going to the garbage pick up trash that i see around the campsite because as a girl scout i want to make sure that the campsite is being better than when i got there so we always make sure we all of my whole family walks to the garbage and make sure we picks up all the garbage that either we accidentally dropped on the ground or someone else has dropped on the ground so a big thing is there is just making sure you when you're drawing your picture you're showing things that you can do to better the out outside world so um and then you gotta think about how to share it right so maybe you sharing it is you do a, va a facebook post and you show how what you learned and then your picture or you could call your grandparents or your talk to your parents or aunt and uncles and just share what you have learned about you know how to leave no trace in the nature so the second activity within this step is mm -hmm. perform a play outdoors so even if you don't have a ton of people to do a play you can just tell a story tell a story about maybe how you are friends with a flower and you kind of talk to your family or friends about how the flower feels when you litter or you're not nice to the environment and the flower might not feel great so you want to tell that story to kind of teach your family about how to take better care of nature and you can learn through a story which is a great way so those are the three steps to earning your outdoor art maker badge so we will take a few minutes for questions so if you want to write down maybe any questions mm -hmm. we can answer them really quick here otherwise always leave a comment and we'll we'll get back to your questions that way too so i'll wait a few minutes for questions if you have any all right so it looks like we have no questions here so i hope you all enjoyed this video and learned so much so have a great weekend or have a great week bye